Hey guys, Drew here, and in this video you'll learn how to upload your HTML website to the internet in about 6 minutes time. So in the description of this video will be a link to this Bluehost page right here, which Bluehost created for me because I've been with the company for so long. If you're an original OG subscriber, you might know that I've been with them for about 5 or 6 years after being with a number of other hosting companies, and I've found that Bluehost has the most competitive pricing, and the best customer service. So once you select the Get Started Now button, you'll see the Select Your Plan page where we can choose from the plus plans, which you might consider if you're a web designer, or you can just go with the basic plan if you just plan on creating a single website. And you're going to get a fair amount of website space with this plan, along with the free SSL certificate, so you have the lock symbol and the security on your website. Then you'll also get a free domain name with the account and you'll have uh, space to add subdomains and park domains if you want in addition to five domain name email addresses. I'm going to select this basic plan here and then I'm going to enter in a domain name which I know is available and that's just w3newbie2 which as you probably know my website is w3newbie.com and once I select next this is going to bring us to the create your account page after we see that the domain name is available. So I'm not going to go through all of the account information here because I already have an account, but I'm going to scroll down and show you what I recommend. So when it comes to the package information, I always go with the longest term plan just because I know I'm going to need the um, web hosting throughout that time period anyways, and you'll get the lowest price with the longest term plan. And when it comes to the package extras, the only thing that I recommend is to get the domain name privacy. And the reason being is because every domain name needs to have some registration contact information connected to it. And with this, it will be the host information instead of your own, so you won't be subjected to any solicitation. So moving on down the page, um, once you've added the package information and the extras, you can enter your payment information and then select that you agree to the terms. Then once you hit submit, you'll be sent to your account. So I'm going to go over to my account right now and you may land on this page which is the C panel or you may land on the home page. So once you're on the website, just go to the home page and then we're going to look for file manager. So you can get it on the home page or you can get it under advanced. And under advanced, it's going to be under files here and on the left under advanced as well once you've selected it. So here we're going to see all of the files that are on the server and you'll be looking for public underscore HTML. So if you just have one domain name on your account, you may not see a folder for that domain name. It just might just be the root and you can just drop your website files onto public underscore HTML. But because I have a number of domain names, I'm going to select this domain name template-pack, which I never ended up doing anything with and it's just sitting on my account right now. Then once we select our domain name folder, we're going to see the well-known folder, the CGI bin folder, and then HT access. So you don't need to worry about any of these files or folders. And if we were to go to our domain once it's loaded, it might take a little bit for your account to get set up to see it. We'll just see the CGI bin folder on the actual domain name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this um, website template that I just recently built um, to that domain name. So as you can see, it's, um, it's got a fair bit of images and it's got some videos along in, with the file. So it might take a moment to upload, but what we're going to do is select all the files and then I'm going to hit compress 11 items or however many files and folders you have for your website. And then what we're going to do is select upload. And once we do that, we can select the files using this button here, or we can drag and drop the zip or RAR compressed file if you're on Windows. And make sure the page is selected before you drop it into the select file button there. And then as you can see, this is just going to take a moment to upload because I have a video background uh, file that takes a couple of megabytes. And then we'll go back to the domain name folder here. And then what we're going to do is select the archive.zip file that we uploaded and then select extract. And once we do that, we're going to select extract files. And then it's going to show you all of the extracted files and we'll select close. And then you may need to just refresh the page. But once you do, you're going to see 
all of the website files in addition to Mac OS X and the archive.zip compressed file. So I'm going to delete these. You may see Windows instead of Mac. And then I'm going to select skip the trash and permanently delete the files. And now we're left with all of the files only for the website. So if we go over to the domain and refresh, here we have the agency theme displaying.